Floor Sweepers Union. I have got a beer from the other side of the world. This is Carl from Floor Sweepers Union on his Party Gas Coffee Imperial Stout. 9.2%. I thought I got a bit of a boozy note, a boozy note off that. So yeah, I've been kind of hanging on to this for a while. But it is now the... The never world between Christmas and New Year. I don't even know what day it is, never mind what date. So... I thought, let's get out the big beers, will we? And there we go, so... That is dark. Let's get the torch out, as it's a special occasion. Let's try not to drop it either. Look at that, absolutely nothing getting through that, and that's a big torch. Not my sausage. So, mm. some real nice note off that. It's almost like, it actually it's gonna sound weird, but it smells like like vanilla or something like that, or brandy, something. That's what I'm getting. But you can even smell; it's just intensely dark. Um. So yeah, I've got a got a note. Carl sent me ages ago. Held on to it all this time. So this is the one that says, if you remember, I had got the ESB before. So this is the one that says, Kia Ora, Big Banana. I think you are the best on the YouTubes. You know that one? No, I've already done that joke. So No. So, Party Guy, Coffee Imperial, sorry, 9.2%. Gladfields Ale Malt. Dark Crystal, Light Crystal, Lactose. Um, and the hops are Macho Air. Never had. East Kent Goldings. Yes, I've had. Buggles. Yes, I've had. And White, White Labs Irish Ale Yeast. Which I am familiar with. So, hmm, as I say, on the nose, it's kind of, it's real intense. It's really kind of, as I said, as soon as I smell the bottle, it, it smells boozy. It smells really dark and really, really rich. I'm not even tasting it yet. Okay, I'm going in. Wish me luck. Cheers, Carl, as well, too, by the way. Wow, that is, that is an Imperial Stout. That is absolutely an Imperial Stout, wow. It's almost like, there's definitely a bit of licorice or something in there. It's really, really nice. Wow, that is a big beer. That is a bloody big beer. It's really dark. Getting coffee off it. The coffee. I'm actually, I can breathe the coffee from my mouth up through my nose. And it's the kind of coffee that we get off like a coffee cream, um, chocolate sweet. It's that kind of coffee. It's really good. That's really good. It's so unbelievably rich. I'm not sure how much of the lactose you put in. But that must have been better. It would have been better if you hadn't, I imagine. It's at a nice level. My god, that's so wow. It's just so dark. And thick. It's a big thick mouth they don't. As well too. Like you're like you're drinking camp. You know the bottles of camp, camp coffee? You're just swigging that out of the bottle. That's what it's like. Oh, 
like a Starbucks version of a Trump with a ball of camp. Whatever that sentence meant, I don't know. I've had a beer tonight, by the way. So I'm just just here to ramble on. I'm glad I kept it. A beer like that you could probably keep for another year. And it would still be it would be even better next Christmas. Um there is carbonation on it. I mean you wouldn't know it by the head. Buff them doing it, that fill you. But it's not it's not the kind of carbonation that makes you want to burp and stuff. It's um it's there, but it's very much um just there to um make the beer interesting, sort of. It's like it's like a liqueur almost, but slightly fizzier. It's absolutely fantastic. Really nice. I'm I'm afraid I'm gonna have to repeat myself. I'm gonna say it one more time. It's very dark. It's very very rich. It's very heavy. It's got coffee. It's got chocolate. And it's got like licorice. I think that's the other one. Taste to it. That's probably because it's so intensely dark and rich. That's really good, car. That's really good. Um. So that's it. I'm not gonna go on anymore. Because I'm halfway down that glass, it's 9.2%. I'm, I'm getting a bit pissed. So I'll just say, um, I want to say Happy Christmas. It's Christmas is gone. Happy New Year. And then, um, yeah, see you all.